A Byron man appeared in court today as a judge formally charged him in the murder of his roommate. Kalisha Moore explains how an argument between longtime friends spilled over into violence and when police are calling a senseless crime. I couldn't imagine anything so bad um, for childhood friends to, to, you know, for this to come to this. Byron police say the end of a 30-year friendship between Claude Deaton and Rodney Slocum played out in front of neighbors this weekend. From what we're told, arguments between them happened often, um, especially when there was alcohol involved. Uh, there was alcohol, alcohol involved Friday night. Chief Wesley Cannon says neighbors reported hearing Rodney Slocum and Claude Deaton arguing. After more than an hour, things moved inside until a neighbor says Deaton came back outside. He saw him drop his keys and his cell phone, so he went over to, you know, stop him from driving or see if he could help him, and that's when he fell down. Um, and he said that he shot me. The bullet hit Deaton in his upper chest. Byron police and EMS arrived, but Deaton later died. I've known Romney since I've known Dean, and I was just like, oh my gosh. We didn't believe that it would be somebody he knew. Mm -mm. His ex-wife Jennifer McWilliams and daughter Alyssa Deaton say they learned what happened Friday night from other relatives. His selfies, gosh, he <laughs> loved his selfies. He, Facebook was like his favorite thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he always posted his gym pics and he wanted people to know he was big. Deaton was 46 years old. His ex-wife says she's happy he was in a good place with their children. I'm glad that both of the kids recently within the last week got a text from their dad how much he loved them and how proud he was of them. In Byron, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Deaton's family says he received a call the day before he was shot with a job offer to drive trunks. Slocum had a first appearance this morning. He is in the Peach County Jail, charged with murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime.